much to do, so little time before Easter. Angela Cusick Schubert is here this morning showing us how to make our own cream eggs for Easter. You know, like the, the Cadbury ones that you get, and the, you open them and they look like a, a real egg inside, but it's just all sugar and candy and goodness. Deliciousness. So you've been, you make your own candies too. You yes. dye Easter eggs, you get all crafty. You betcha. <laughs> So what we first do to make the filling is I like to spray the inside of this before we put the corn syrup in. Okay. That way it comes out a lot easier. And we just put a third of a cup of corn syrup in here and into the mixer. Do you, hi, do you like um, this version better than the real one? I do. I bet I will too. Yeah. I think I will too. Nothing against Cadbury. No, never. In case they're watching. But, you know, it's fun to make your own and impress your guests and the kids. Yep. What else did you just put in there? A quarter what? cup of butter. Okay. And a teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you want to cream that all together. And then you add three cups of powdered sugar. Okay, I want to add that slowly so it gets Otherwise it'll all kind of come up in your face. Exactly. A little more. Yep. And then after that is all cream, do you divide it up? Yes, you take okay. a third of it out to create your yolk. So okay, you so we have, uh, she's actually done this ahead of time so that we have enough time to yep. show you. But in here, do you see, she turned one. How much do you want? Do you divide them separate, uh, equally? One third goes into your yolk, and okay. two thirds you leave white. And you just used yellow food coloring yep. for that? Yep, one drop okay. yellow, one drop orange. And then what you would do is take a little bit of your yolk coloring. Okay. And you want to. Do you chill it before you do this? You do. Chill it between every single step or it gets too sticky. Okay. So you form that into your little ball, and then you stick a stick in there. A lollipop stick. Yes. Okay, and I just stick it right in there? Yep. Okay, this is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, no. I thought this was going to be a really it is, intense process. It is very easy. Okay, so then you would chill that again? Yep, that would get chilled again. And I like to stick them into the styrofoam there so they keep the egg shape as opposed to laying them on a tray, then they get... Oh, well, mine's not an egg shape. Well, Should I fix no, that? No, that's okay, because we're going to put white over it. Okay. My yolk is more <laughs> round than oval. So then to do the filling, you roll your Another. little ball and then kind of wrap, you would have this oh, chill. Oh, let's show that again. Show that over this tray. Okay. Your white one again. So you take the white. Yep. Roll it into a ball. And then. Flatten it out. Flatten it out. And then you would put it around your ear. wrap yolk. it. Okay, and she has about a half a dozen <laughs> finished right here in front it, with the sticks inside. Yep. Okay, then how do you get the chocolate on it? If you want to melt the chocolate there. I'm going to melt it? Yep, in the microwave, just about a minute. Okay, well, we seconds. don't have time for that. Okay. Do you have a swap out? Yep, we have okay. our finished ones are just... I'm going to pretend. <laughs> melting my chocolate. You would have your chocolate melted, and okay. then you just take your... These would be chilled, so you want to dip them in the warm chocolate really quick and just tap them off to get the excess, and then put it back on your drying rack and into the fridge. And then it's done and it looks like this. They are so cute. I love how you displayed them too. Yeah. Can I bite into one to you, see what it looks oh, like in the middle? Do. Okay. <laughs> and um, as I do this, <laughs> oh, you're not going to see me eat it? <laughs> Come on. It's the best part. Oh, that is so see? cool on the inside. There are so many fun things you can do with Easter eggs. This one is super easy and pretty. Take a look. It's just blown out eggs with uh, flowers stuck inside. And then you place the egg in a cup. This one has a little ribbon on it to dress up the eggs. We added a link to fox11online.com. Just click on Good Day Wisconsin. And then the link section. By the way, Angie is the co-owner of DIY Studio and Gifts, opening on Broadway later this month. And we'll keep you posted on that. Keep, keep us um, on Facebook for the latest. Angie, thank you. Thank you. Let's check it. There it is. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And it is better than the real deal. This is the real deal. Doug, I think you'd like it. I'll save you one. 